Hi, this is Pastor Ray with Gospel Tabernacle Church. I'd like to talk to you today about salvation, uh, just an aspect of it. And I'd like to start off with a story, if you will. Just go with me on this. Suppose you gave a house to somebody. Now, you didn't give up ownership, you just gave it for, to them to live in, and uh, no strings attached, just, just live in it and, and, and keep it and be a good steward and watch over it. And you come back a couple of years later and they have just totally thrashed this house. They've tore it up, uh, abused it. Uh, it's a mess. It's totally corrupted. So bad that you're thinking of just running a bulldozer through it and starting all over again. You see, that's what we've done with everything that God has given us. This world, uh, the, the wonders of it, the glory of it, the beauty of it, we have just abused and misused our lives the same way. We just took it and did whatever we want with it. What would you do with the person who thrashed your house and tore it up? Boy, you'd probably be in the courts with them, trying to get money back, doing whatever. I'm really happy that God didn't do that. Listen to what it says in the book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 5, about salvation. It says, not by the works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of the regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost. God could have passed judgment. He could have took back the world that he made and you destroyed it and start all over. Matter of fact, we read in the scriptures in one place, he did that. And now he sheds his mercy on us. Mercy. That's when you deserve judgment, just like I do. But instead of giving us judgment, God was merciful and gave us grace. Isn't it time to take a look at God's mercy? Because he is coming back for his creation. Where will you stand? As a good steward, took care of things? Or as somebody who just abused everything he gave you? I'm looking forward to God's mercy in the future. I see it every morning upon my life. How about you? This is Pastor Ray. God bless you.